So today we're here with Dr. Kazone and Dr. Zapiech from Art Plastic Surgery here in Paramus. Um, and I was hoping that you could tell us a little bit about your background and how long you've been in practice and, and how long you've been working together. Okay, well, uh, I've been in practice in Bergen County for about 26 years. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and I'm on staff at uh, Hackensack Medical Center and the Valley Hospital in Ridgewood also uh, St. Joseph's Wayne Hospital where I'm chairman of the Department of Surgery. I've been in practice for the past four years here in Bergen County and Dr. Gazzone and myself have been working together for the past two years. I'm on staff at Hackensack, at Valley, at Holy Name, and at Englewood. And you uh, gentlemen offer a fantastic procedure here by way of the alma laser. Uh, Dr. Zapiech, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about what the actual procedure entails. Fractional resurfacing allows us to offer the uh, power of a CO2 laser with the resurfacing that that enables, but in a fractionated format so that we have minimal downtime. It gives us the ablative nature of the CO2 laser, but with a downtime of only about six days. Oh wow, that's incredible. Dr. Gazone, um, perhaps you can highlight some of the benefits that a patient might expect from having this kind of procedure done. Sure. Uh, the fractional uh, CO2 laser is used for a variety of uh, purposes and reasons. Uh, it helps to eliminate or uh, soften fine lines and wrinkles. It'll help also with uh, dyschromias or uh, blemishes or different colored spots on the face. Uh, and it'll improve your texture and skin tone uh, tremendously. And as Dr. Zapiach mentioned, the benefit of this CO2 laser is that it's fractionated, which means that there are certain surfaces of the skin which are not ablated. Uh, the advantage of the uh, fractional CO2 laser, which we have here in the office, uh, is that years ago when lasers first came out to resurface the skin, uh, they actually burnt the whole surface of the skin and because of that there was a significant downtime where the patients were red, they were weeping for uh, weeks at a time. The fractional CO2 laser, what it does is it actually spares a portion of the skin surface so when the skin re-epithelializes or heals it's with uh, a much less downtime we call it. Within three to five days our patients can get back out in public, they can wear foundation and the advantages of this laser and the, and, the, and the reason why we like to use it in the office are, are varied. It helps uh, with the patients that have fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, it helps to soften these lines or in some cases ablate or totally get rid of these lines. It also helps with what we call dyschromias of the, of the face or neck where people have some age spots that are a little darker or lighter, it'll help give a smooth and more unified uh, color to the skin. And, and, and even more significantly, what it does is it helps with the overall tone and texture of the skin. And as I said, I just want to emphasize that one of the significant improvements with these fractional lasers is the fact that just with like a long weekend of downtime, the patients can get back out to work or in society or go to social events. Uh, and that, that's, so, that's one of the greatest advantages. The other advantage is that it's a procedure we do right in the office. Uh, we put a topical anesthetic cream on the face. We don't even have to pre-medicate our patients uh, with any, any medications. Uh, it's minimal, uh, minimal pain. Uh, and as I said, they come in, they're in the office for about an hour. We apply this topical anesthetic cream for about a half hour to 40 minutes. The actual procedure itself takes 20 to 30 minutes depending on if we're resurfacing the whole face or not. So, so these are some of the tremendous advantages to what they call these fractional CO2 lasers. And the Alma in specific is one of the newer lasers. It's one of the most high powered lasers we have. Uh, and we're finding it does a very, very nice job for our patients. That's terrific. Uh, Dr. Zapiech, maybe just quickly if you could, um, given kind of the, the benefits that Dr. Gazone um, uh, spoke about, um, I know that each patient is allowed to come in for a personal consult before they actually have the procedure done. Um, who, who might not be a good candidate for this kind of procedure? So we interview all of our patients beforehand and take a detailed history and physical examination. We look at the specific uh, aspects of the face that the patients have any of the concerns on or any of the scarring that they may have any concerns about the scarring. 
patients are generally candidates for this procedure. However, certain patients of very dark skin tone, we have some difficulty using this laser with, so they may not be great candidates for this. Also, patients that have had any prior uh, allergic reactions uh, or any other issues with lasers in the past, whether their skin tone has gotten darker or lighter, are patients that may not be candidates for this. Great. Well, thank you very much so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Um, and I hope that this will be a, a successful launch for you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you very much.